Hello everyone watching on YouTube and welcome to Tales of Arise Beyond the Dawn. The DLC is here and I am so very pumped and excited to be playing through it. I cannot wait. This is one of my favorite games of all time, probably my third favorite game of all time. And I'm really, really hoping that the Beyond the Dawn DLC is just really, really good. Which, you know, Tales of Arise was really good. So, I have a lot of faith and uh, a little bit of expectations, we'll say, going into it. But without further ado, let's begin Beyond the Dawn. You will move to the additional story title screen. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yes. Please don't immediately play some kind of anime opening that is copyrighted, I beg of you. Tales of Arise Beyond the Dawn, Hereafter, the additional story, is a story that takes place after Tales of Arise, Hereafter, the main story, it's very funny, parentheses. It is recommended that you play it after completing the main story. I'm good! I beat it twice, literally two days ago. Ooh! I was worried it was about to throw me into an anime opening that I would have to cut out for YouTube. Which, by the way, if there is, like, an anime opening with a bunch of, like, copywritten music, that will be cutting out on YouTube. Cutting out? Will be cut out? I can speak, I promise. But this is very, very pretty. Look at that. I love that a lot. And then you could just switch back to Tales of Our Eyes. Alright, yeah, like, it's like the normal menu. I love it. New game, chat. Here we go. I do have main story save data, thank you for noticing. Main story save data detected. Acquire bonuses and start the game. In order for you to enjoy the additional story, the game will start with the main story progress to make it easier to play, regardless of your actual progress or development in the main story. Wait a minute. In order for you to enjoy the additional story, the game will start with the main story progress to make it easier to play, regardless of your actual progress or development in the main story. Oh, okay, yeah. That makes sense. Additional story start bonus? Oh my word. Main story play data bonus. Main story completion bonus. Main story all subquests completed bonus. Main story all characters level 100 bonus. Special weapon bonus. Yo, let's go. Okay, so we get a good chunk of CP, a lot of SP, a ton of gold, and we get some special weapons. Is it going to give me the devil's arms, maybe? Let's, or is it going to be like actual new weapons? Either way, this is really, really cool. I like it. I like that there's a bonus for doing all the subquests and for getting all the characters to level 100. That's really cool. Acquire bonuses. Upon starting the additional story, even if you meet the acquisition requirements for bonuses in the main story, you will not be able to accept them. Yeah, I'm gonna assume that accepting this doesn't... I mean, that's... What is that? That's a little over 2,000 SP. That's gonna be a handful of skills, and it's a lot of gall, don't get me wrong. I don't know what the deal with the special weapons is, but I assume that this isn't gonna, like, overpower me for the DLC. So, we're just gonna go with it. Bonuses acquired. I mean, if the special weapons are, like, OP or something, I can just not use them, right? So we'll be fun. I would like to play on moderate, because that's what I play the game on. Input queuing time short, I believe, is what I usually use. That's what we were doing in my most recent playthrough. I do like the destination markers. I, I do want subtitles. I didn't realize I'd have to, like, I thought it would keep my settings from my save file, but... Oh, I hope that this... I'm gonna... First aid! There. You're finished. Sighted. This is just the voice volume in combat, Pathetic. right? If it's just the voice volume in combat, it can stay kind of low. Chat, let me know if we need to adjust this. I don't remember if I adjusted it in the first playthrough or the second playthrough. But I'm just going to leave it all at default and hope it's fine. And you guys let me know if anything is too loud or too quiet. And I will try to fix it on the fly. This all looks good to me. Oh, baby, here we go. Don't hit me with copywritten music. That's all I ask. Spazzing Eel, thank you for subbing with Prime for six months. Greatly appreciated. One year has passed since the end of the great conflict between Dana and Rena. The two worlds have finally joined and literally merged into one. A single planet now exists, teeming with all six elements, as it always should have. Oh, 
I'm getting goosebumps. I cannot With wait. A new world comes a new set of problems. Unprepared for the changes thrust upon them, Danans and Renans now find themselves forced to live side by side. And though the initial chaos of the Great Convergence has faded, the people of this new world are realizing that some scars are not so easily healed. And so, our journey continues. It was a really nice opening. I liked it. There she is! Don't let her get away! After her! <sighs> this way! Right! This is Mahog Sar. She's gone. There's no way. She's got to be nearby. Find her. That's handy. <sighs> so glowing eyes is a normal thing for Renans? I already know that that character is... Oh, Don Lake, I love this place. I already know that character is, like, half Dan and half Renan, so only one eye lit up, but it looked very similar to, like, the Sovereign Maiden symbol, which is intriguing. The way the glow started. Mmm, just you two, none of the others, huh? The weather is so nice today. It's a shame we can't enjoy it with all these Zoogles around. Stay alert, Shion. Danger could be lurking in the shadows. <laughs> I could say the same to you. If you get injured, it's going to hurt now, you know. So, the mausoleum is somewhere around here? That's what I heard. We'll have to get more details from Bayfon when we meet up with him in the city. I wonder if the others have already arrived in the Yes by now. It'll be good to see them again. It's been so long since we were all together. Hey, you! Did you see a Renan brat around here? You're looking for a child? A Renan? Yeah, that's right. And get this. That kid is the daughter of a lord. A lord? Ooh. Hey, wait a sec. That there on your back. Is that... No mistake, it is. You're the blazing sword, aren't you? <sighs> oh, he is. Talk about lucky. Lucky? What do you mean? Even if she's just a kid, she's still the daughter of a Renan lord. But if we've got you with us, we'll have nothing to fear. Sorry, but I can't help. Hey, you gotta be kidding me, man! She's a lord's daughter. They're your enemy, right? You're the blazing sword. It's just common sense that you'd help us. Come to think of it, rumor has it he's been traveling with some bright eyes chick. Wait, is that why? And what if it is? Is that a problem? You forget about it. Let's get out of here. A lord's daughter, huh? I wonder whose. Regardless of who it may be, it doesn't make chasing her down okay, now does it? You're right, of course. Let's go find her before anyone else does. She's a daughter of one of the lords. There's no way it's Dohalim. I highly doubt it's Volron. Possible, but I doubt it. 
So that leaves Almadria, Ganabelt, and Balsef. I think probably my first guess would be Ganabelt. That one seems most likely, but anything is possible. Maybe, maybe it is Volron. Who knows? Golden Sincleaver Blade or Noble Rose. Interesting. Oh, I love that. That is really good. Okay, we start at level 65. Interesting. What's my skill panel look like? Okay, so they start you with all of the emblems unlocked, and then they give you a bunch of random skills alongside of it. And because I have all the save clear data, I get to choose a couple here at the very start, which is fantastic news because I want incineration wave. Immediately incineration wave. And alongside incineration wave... Is there anything else really specific I want art-wise here? Iron Cleaver, Thunderous Devastation we used a little bit near the end of the game, as well as Thunderfang. Rending Flash. That's another flaming skill, right. We don't need Rending Flash right now. Give me an easier overlimit, and then let's let's hold on to that for a second, actually. What have you got going on? Okay, this is very interesting, the way they're doing this. I like it. Also, I'm loving this music right now. Let's give you... Why specifically do you not have the increased mid-air damage here? <laughs> That's a weird one. Do you have increased healing skill or whatever? Is that one around here anywhere? Here, have an easier over limit and art casting mobility. And then improved healing arts. Wow, that costs the perfect amount. What the heck? How'd I do that? You know what? Do this. That also costs the perfect amount. Beautiful. Do I need to reset my arts? Wow, it actually... Okay, so it just assumes that you've never played the game. Interesting. Do raining slash on square. Whoops. Whoops. Wrong buttons. Sword Rain Alpha I had here. Lightning Thrust here. No, wait. Lightning Thrust here. This is supposed to be... Dragon Swarm. I don't have Dragon Swarm by default? Hate that. Hate that a lot. G give me Shockwave Slash, I guess. A Double Demon Fang, sure. Destruction, why not? And then we don't have any of my favorite aerial moves, unfortunately. Okay, okay. I should also put them on this. Yeah, like this, so I don't confuse myself. All right. Not bad, not bad. Search for the Lord's Daughter. Who... Who is your father or mother? Get back. That looks fancier than normal bright eyes. Ooh. Oh, baby! Oh, I love it. Yeah, I know how to play the game. Let's get this over with. Yeah, I'm worried about that girl. Stay back. I'm gonna burn you. Oh, I don't. I wonder why Alfin doesn't have the Sovereign crest behind him anymore. What's up with that? Bad time to use Stardust. Would have been way better if I had Void Flash there. Come at me. Come at me. Not today, sucker. Shion, deal with yours. I'm dealing with mine. Alfing's perk, Flaming Edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. Don't worry, video game. I may as well take the rest. You would think if the game realizes you have all of the save data and whatnot, it would be like, yeah, you probably don't need explanations on how to play the game, basically. Get wrecked. Oh, there are more of you, huh? 
Boost attacks, classic. Gone. Get on the ground. Behold. Burn. Boost strikes. I really hope we get some new boost strikes. Either this new kid maybe is a party member or just new boost strikes in general. Wait. No thorns. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hurt you, okay? <sighs> You're the daughter of a lord, aren't you? <sighs> you can relax. We'd heard people were after you. Sort of Anna? Is there any way we can help you? Why? What do you mean? You're being chased, aren't you? I'm fine. Don't worry. Okay, but it's dangerous to be out here all alone. Won't you at least come with us to Nias? That's where I got kicked out of. Bayfon should be in Nies, right? I want to know what's going on. If you come with us, I'm sure we can get this straightened out. If we go our separate ways, we won't cause each other any problems. Problems? What kind of problems? Why? We just want to help. Isn't that enough? We help people. It's who we are. You may think we're weird, but it's true. I'm Shion. This is Alfin. Nazamil. Nazamil. Is that your name? Uh, hey. We're going to Niaz, aren't we? Uh, right. Nice to meet you, Nazamil. What a mouthful of a name. Nazamil has joined you on your travels. Although now that I think about it, it's not that far off from like Dohalim. So, makes sense. Very Renin. Cure points. Yeah, thank you. By the way, chat. Driving out a child? Just because she's Renin? Racial tensions still run deep here. But that doesn't mean we're giving up, right? Right. Of course. It makes sense that we're in Niez now, because Niez is probably one of the most, like, Renin-hating of the realms, I would say, given, you know, Almadria and Dead Eyes rule and all that. Look at these flowers! I'm pretty sure these flowers are supposed to represent- I bet we'll see them in multiple areas throughout the DLC. I'm pretty sure these are meant to represent the, uh, the great spirit of darkness and the great spirit of light having become one and the world's fusing, like at the end of the game. Very cool. Hmm. Alright, cool stuff, cool stuff. People are pointing out that Nazimiel might not be the child of one of the lords that we fought. I think it's very possible that she could be- it would be a little weird to, like, make a deal about, like, oh, she's the child of a lord, and she's obviously young, and then it not be a character that we know, I feel like. I feel like, if anything, if she's not the child of a lord that we know, she might be a child of the lord that Volron killed to take the place of in Ganeth Haros. But if she just ends up being the lord of, like, oh, some dude from, like, two crown contests ago you've never heard of before, that, that, that'd be a, you know, I feel like it'd be a bit of a missed opportunity. But, uh, yeah. How is the audio, chat? Especially since we had a fight. Is it- it looks good on Streamlabs. But I can try and adjust a little bit if I need to, but it, it looked good on Streamlabs, so... 
I'm hoping Streamlabs is not leading me astray. This What's is this my thing? lettuce? It's my lettuce and I want it now? Yeah, I, these roses were definitely not here before. I like that we start in a Dawn Lake because I like What's a Dawn thing? Lake. Don't you have special weapons? Yeah, they did give me special weapons, didn't they? Oh, look at that, slightly, oh, it looks ugly though. <laughs> it looks very ugly. Oh, they're literally gold, okay. But the coloring, does it does not work with the outfits though, is the thing. <laughs> I, I get that they're gold, that's neat and all. Oh, hey, look, all of the other outfits that I unlocked are here. Let's just stick with the defaults for now, but also like definitely give me the Blade Legacy or whatever because... Xion's is new, that deep red, I like it. Audio seems fine. All right, people are saying audio is good. 